All right. Now we are going to talk about DML or data manipulation language in APAC. So let's start with a simple one. Okay. We are going to try DML statements for insert, update. We're going to skip absurd because it involves a mix, which is a list, but we will do it and we will do delete and delete. We will also skip merge because it's also involve a list of merging two or more records. So let's do that. I'm going to also split this whole section into several video. So this particular video, we are just going to take our time to do a few of our DMR statements and then next video we are going to do the bulk dml and discuss about what is the bulk dml and there we can also do absurd and what else let's go down and then deleting records from a list if we want to do that as well and discuss about data database methods what's the difference between dml and database methods and and then working with related records. So yeah, we will uh, divide into a few segments here. And then the last segment would be the hands on challenge. All right, so otherwise the video could be taking too long and you will get distracted playing with other stuff, right? <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go to my hands on org here. Pop up a new window. Did I click that? Pop up a new window. So I'm going to do uh, to go to my trailhead playground, resourceful raccoon. And we are going to open our developer console. Okay. So open this from the gear icon. I'm going to click that for now. Developer icon not developer I can gear icon and developer console pop that up oops it's already maximized by default and we are going to play a lot with the open execute anonymous window so you can also just do control e which is the window and let's take this out from the last video we have I'm going to take that out and just delete that with a blank canvas and let's take our time like that right and I am going to flip back to our trail hat first we are going to do an insert statement all right so we can copy this I'm just going to copy this and flip back and paste this so we are going to create the account as object the spirit object remember so this is this is happening in the memory right like we did discuss before so let's create a new account account is the as object type the variable is account equals and then you actually create instantiate the the account the 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 object like make it real poof right well it's not real it's still in the memory right now so new account right and populate the fields the name is acme this is the phone and this is the number of employees we did have an acme right before now i'm gonna make it zone io the phone is a fake phone it six six one two three one two three four and the number of employees of zone let's pretend twenty thousand employees we have okay so we are going to create a new account called zone.io so this is still the in the memory but when you execute the dml right the, the data manipulation language uh, transaction you insert that it's going to actually create a new account 
So if I flip back to my playground here, and I go back to my accounts, do we have accounts here? I'm gonna click my sandwich button here, and accounts, okay. This is recently viewed. I'm gonna uh, go to all account. I just have 13 right now. And we don't have zone.io, right? It's sorted by name. So A at the top, Z at the bottom. So we don't have zone.io. So I'm gonna execute this now, okay? And we are going to execute and open the lock there, all right? Well, we don't have any debug statement. So I'm just going to execute and we have all the logs here for the code execution. Now, if I go back to my playground and I refresh this, refresh, we should have zone.io, see? It's actually creating the record. If I go to details here, we see the phone number we set, we see the employees is 20,000 and that's pretty much it. So now what if I want to update this particular, um, record so you can get the account id from the url whenever you are browsing any record in salesforce you can get the account id from here okay you can do this copy this this is the record id not account id this is the record id of the account if i flip back to my developer console and close that and control e or command e and then i don't want to insert anymore I just want to say account is, now I'm going to change this to grab it, okay, with a sockle. Select ID from account where ID equals boom. So this is the account, but now I want to update the account record, right? What do you want to do? The website, okay, let's just do one. The website would be zone.io, okay? So this is blank. I'm gonna go back here. Now, acct.website. What is the field name? Well, we have to know the field name. You can also um, file open resource while you are here. And then you go account. We want, you want to browse the account object, account.obg object. You can open that. So you can see all the available fields, but you need to, you know, float this a bit. So we can take a peek. Oh, can we minimize this or how do you open in a new window? Oh, that's better. See, so we can flip around, okay? So I'm gonna go back here. What was it? Website, right? So website, 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 website. Uh, oh, it's site. It's site here. So it's site, not website. That's why it doesn't know. So you can do that to see what fields are available. So account.site. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna do that. Now I grab this record, select ID from account where ID equals that ID, which I grab from, we got so many windows going on now. From here, right, which is the, the zone account, just for this example, to try the update record, right? Now instead of, instead of insert, I'm going to do update, okay? Now we are going to tell this, this is not actually an insert. And this is get, get the account um, as object, which is the zone.io account we just created. And then set the site to be this and, and update the account, okay? So now I'm going to execute this. Since it's in a, on a new window, we, we don't see the log. So if I go here and I go here, here's the log. Okay, so I'm gonna close that and go back to our, here, so this should be zone.io, okay? So let me refresh this page here. Go back to details page. All 
Oh, here. <laughs> so account site, not website. So we were updating the account site here. My bad. Okay. So the account site is updated, not the actual website. So make sure you're actually looking at the right place. All right. So let's go back to our developer console here. And now I am going to do the next part. We are going to not upset. Let's go delete. Okay. Let's go delete the record now. Right. So we are just going to use the same record for the sake of this example. I'm going to close the log again. Uh, I'm going to flip back to our um, anonymous window. And now we are going to select this again, right? And then I am just going to say um, delete, okay? We are not going to update, but we are going to delete, okay? So delete the account. So what would happen if I execute this? The account would pretty much be gone, okay? If I execute that and now flip back to my Playground, this, now this should be gone. It should be saying the record has been deleted. Whoops, looks like there is a problem. It's gone, all right? So if I go back just to the accounts here and go to all, we are back to 13 and so not IO is gone, right? Now, I want to undelete that. Whoopsie, so I want to undelete that. So for example, you know the ID or you can get the deleted record ID, all right? So if you want to undelete that, you would say undelete. Select, now, if you want to do undelete, right? You need to add this statement when you are querying the Salesforce database, all rows. What does this mean? All rows mean when you're selecting or finding, include finding deleted records, right? Include finding deleted records. So when you find it, you don't even have to use the ID, right? Where, for example, um, name equals, so I don't, but tell me I don't know the ID, right? Because it's deleted. Was it sewn? I, oh, I forgot. Sewn. Or I can even use like. Name like sewn. I, I forgot. Do I have a space or not? Percent. Percent is a wild card. So the name of the account, like sewn with whatever in behind. Okay. So go find this, please. Go find this and then undelete the account. So we are going to execute just that. Boom. If I go back here, 13, and now I am going to refresh. We should have 14 now. Boom. So we do have a space, right? Because I don't know. So we just undeleted uh, a record. So I select, I do query, where, and then you define what you want to find like that and then include all rows, including deleted records, and then you do the undelete. Pretty simple, right? Pretty simple. All right, so what else do we do we have here? Undelete, and that's it. Merge, we are going to do a bit later, which also absurd. So I'm gonna cut the video on here, so it's not going too, too long, and I'll see you on the next video, where we will discuss uh, bulk DML, okay? What is this beyond the basic, beyond the, uh, uh, be, because the S object variable in the example contains the ID. Yeah, like I said before, you can use that ID to do other stuff, all right? So I'll see you on the next video where we are going to play around with bulk DML. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce App Exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video, and you'll be surprised on how much more 
you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word. Watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.